بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی اسٹارٹ دا نیکسٹ چیپٹر چیپٹر نمبر فور اینڈ دیٹ از واٹ دیٹ از دی اکنامکس آف پاور جنریشن سو آئی ووڈ جسٹ رائٹ اکنامکس اکنامکس آف پاور جنریشن سو لیٹ اٹ بی اے پی جی اوکے Now, what is economics of power generation? So basically, I will not try to go in that sort of a detail because you, uh, you, uh, this is uh, not engineering economics. You will study it in a greater detail. The more formulas, for instance, if I'll talk about the depreciation, so depreciation formulas, different methods, I will not be studying over here. Why? Because you have, you, you will have, definitely you will have a separate course for that by the name of engineering economics. Over here, I just try to, to focus on our power system thing, right? Yes. So the economics of power generation. So basically what do you need to do is you need your system, the power system to be number one. The most important thing is it should be economic. It should be affordable, right? Yes. The second thing is it should be reliable. Yes, and these are the two things that are the main requirements of your power system. Number one, you have to make it as affordable as possible. The least the price, the better it is for you or the, the, the consumer will go for alternatives. For instance, nowadays, today, as I'm speaking, this is the trend of solar power systems. The major reason being a very high electricity rates over here, a very high tariff right yes so people are switching to what people are installing the solar panels at their homes they are switching to their very own electricity net metering and and the rest you know right so the thing is if you are generating power you should have what economics is number one concern the rates should be as less as possible you you should The rates would not be as low as you would go into, into losses. No, you will have to recover your capital cost. You will have to earn some nominal profit, but still the range needs to be somewhat in the affordable range. So that is what we'll talk a little in this chapter about. So if economics, the book writes, the definition is the art, the art of determining the art of determining per unit cost of electricity produced per unit means what per kilowatt hour one unit of energy is one kilowatt hours right so this is what we will talk about the art of finding out what the art of determining the per unit cost of production is known as the economics of power generation this is chapter four of the book okay So uh, before going into the cost of electricity, actually, before going into it, you need to you need to know a certain uh, a number uh, a number of terms a number of terms. The thing is uh, that the load demand should always be met, right? Yes, you should have this much of generation that fits your load curve we've seen that in the previous the generation scheduling also right so the first term for instance that you need to know over here is inflation so inflation is what inflation is a broad increase in price you can say i will not write it over here let this be a little theoretical discussion inflation is what it's a broad in a broad increase in price you 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 could uh, you know uh, Uh, take something five years back for a particular amount of money today you cannot even think of buying that thing in that particular amount right yes for instance if a car was worth 20 lakhs five years back today it's at an average of 30 lakhs so this is what is inflation a very broad increase in the price yes yes the devaluation of your money against the us dollars right yes by the way i'm not an economic expert i will just try to uh, just tell you a little things about it and i will mainly focus on the electrical perspective from here so in the inflation what happens is you don't prefer to keep cash money is not preferred rather you prefer to buy to buy something to have an entity to have a good in 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 that 
in that amount of money right so this is what inflation is in today's world you can see our country a very high rate of inflation in the double digits it's more than 10 the current inflation rate in pakistan right yes so this was the first term this is the inflation the second is what the second is the capital cost capital cost is the word that you will hear a lot from now on so capital cost is what this is the initial investment on the on the project the initial investment right and this include what the thing the, the investment from the very beginning from the planning of the project till the complete finalizing of the project this is what this is the capital cost the initial investment the whole huge amount of sum that is required to be invested that is the capital cost right yes and what does this include this is right from the preparation of the plan the project is commissioned to the time the project is commissioned is referred to as the capital cost to name a few it includes the cost of the material labor mapping surveying preparation of plans hiring of consultants traveling taxes to be paid and trusts on borrowing it can even include the cost of purchasing papers for preparing plans and reports all insurance costs and depreciations are calculated on the basis of capital cost right yes the next is loan so if you if you are if you're talking about a capital cost so that is a very huge amount so you have to talk of loan as well now loan is what loan is the amount borrowed to fulfill our needs you you're talking about a very huge project when I'm talking about a power system, for instance, you're talking about a dam. So this is a huge project and a huge amount of capital cost is required. A huge amount of investment is required. This cannot be done by, by what? By creating a bank account and asking the public to, to donate. Yes. So no, this the dams and power plants are not built on on public donations right yes so the thing is you have to have a huge amount of money and for for developing countries like pakistan poorer countries more poor than us maybe so what do they have is do they do not have the initial investment to put into the power system they do not have the money to build the generation plant so what they do they definitely have to ask for help they have to take loans who provide these loans so the imf in our case the banks provide the loan the some international banks like the asian development bank and etc etc so they provide the loan so the sum that is borrowed the amount of money borrowed to fulfill my needs is what it is the loan right yes now when you talk of loan you talk of interest you talk of loan so you talk of interest what is interest so the book writes i believe the uh, the uh, the the cost of using the money if you're giving me for instance 1000 rupees and you demand 12000 uh, 1200 in return so the 200 you are saying is that this is the cost that that is implemented on what for for using my 1000 rupees so the book has written this definition right yes so interest is what it is the amount over and above the money being lent to the borrower to the borrower yes yes so which means the 200 rupees was what it was the interest so although interest is uh, prohibited uh, in our religion islam but the thing is this is a very huge amount of capital and and then it becomes what you you can you do not have any other option you do not have an option you need the money so desperately you cannot do anything and then you talk of the simple interest and then compound interest so you would have studied in your economics simple interest is just simply on on the whole sum i believe for the whole time but the compound interest you know uh, then uh, doubles or the rate at which it is so it happens to be on yearly basis on the principal amount so as the so whatever it is i just don't know the details and neither do i want to go into it you have a compound interest simple interest so the value gets extremely large so i told you again i'm telling you again that it is prohibited in our religion but we don't have a choice 
we don't have a choice right yes yes so i do not need to go into the detail of any other things i believe then you have also you you talk about another very important term and that is depreciation that is what that is depreciation so depreciation is what this is the this is the reduction in the value of a good with the passage of time what has the book written just let me see over here uh, depreciation is the decrease in the value of the power plant or the building due to constant use is known as depreciation yes so use you're using a certain thing its value decreases of course its value decreases you're using it constantly it has a useful life it cannot be operated for the whole lifetime it has a useful life the power plant equipments have a lifetime of about 50 to 70 years so depreciation is what that is the continuous degrading of the device due to constant use due to wear and tear and etc etc that is what that is depreciation a non-cash expense that reduces the value of an asset as a result of wear and tear age or obsolescence is referred to as depreciation most assets lose their value over a span of time the value of the asset at the end of its useful life is the scrap value scrap value is what it is the value of the asset at the end of its life scrap value so for instance for instance i bought a mobile phone for one lakh rupees for instance so that is my principal amount at this stage now mobile phone would have a useful life of what two to three years you would use a mobile phone till maximum let's say for instance three years so one leg i bought it for one leg the useful life is three years after three years if i am going to sell the mobile phone so what would be the price 10,000 would be the price of that phone to sell it at that time. So which means the scrap value of the mobile phone that I am selling right now is 10,000 for which the principal amount that I bought three years ago was what was 1 lakh rupees. Depreciation is also referred as the decline in the value of a given currency in comparison with other currencies. For instance, if the rupee depreciates against the US dollar, buyers would have to pay more rupees in order to obtain the original amount of dollars before the depreciation occurred, right? Yes. Yes. So, uh, I believe these terms are enough to understand. Then you have taxes also. Then you have taxes also. You also have taxes. So, let me write. Let me write. What is tax? This is the thing that the government takes. This is the thing that the government takes. Let me have a look over here. A tax in a, is an involuntary fee paid by individuals or businesses to the government. You pay this to the government. They may be in cash or or all the payments in kinds or kind. All the payments in kind may not be allowed or classified and this and that let it be. So then you have the income tax, different types of taxes. Tax is what? This is the amount that you are giving to the government, right? Yes. Why are you giving it to the government? So that, that may be due to different reasons. Income tax, for instance, is commonly because the rate increases with the... Uh, so I don't need to define it. You have income tax, for instance. You have a capital gain tax. Is that capital gains tax is what? It is a prof is it the tax that is levied, levied on the profit realized upon the sale of an asset. Okay. Yes, so you have you have you have sale an item, you have earned some profit on that. So the tax on that profit is the capital gains tax. Similarly, you have an excise tax that is what that is on the purchase or sale transaction or in connection with importation across a particular border so you, you read this out by yourself then you have the sales text when a commodity is sold to the final consumer that's the sales text you have a value added text that is on luxury items right then you have property text that is on properties you have a wealth text that is on the net value of assets or just let it go then you have a toll tax uh, which is on the highways this is for privilege or facility you know so you for example the highway tax is also this then you have insurance then you have insurance so will you read it out from here by yourself insurance or should i read it insurance is what 
The normal activities of daily life carry the risk of enormous financial loss. Many companies and persons are willing to pay a small amount for the protection against certain risks. Now the term insurance describes any measure for the protection against risks. Insurance is a contract whereby for a stipulated consideration one party promises to compensate the other for a loss of a particular subject of interest by specific perils or risks. Now interest is what so you are you know afraid you're taking a risk you are you know uh, for a damage of something if the thing gets damaged life carry the risk of if you have uh, the the risk of a financial loss so you insure that thing so what is that insurance that insurance is that you pay a certain small amount of money for the damage that may occur if something is damaged under insurance then the insurance company does what they will uh, pay for the loss they will uh, pay for the loss yes so this is insurance i don't you know do not need to go in the detail of this so these were some important terms that were you know related to this first you needed to understand these terms before going into the detail of the what the cost of electrical energy actually so the cost of electricity is our basic topic